So you just got done with your bulk. Now you don't know what to do. You need us to, to help to you guide out, you. To guide you. The proper way to cut. That way you don't prevent muscle loss. And you keep your gains. Yeah. And you're not fat. So we're going to show you how to cut properly. Okay, so before you cut, you want a few steps you want to take before you even think about cutting. Which is one of them is... You want to make sure that you have enough muscle on your body to properly cut. And you want to be implementing a lot of strength training to uh, cut properly. So make sure you progressively got stronger during your bulk, adding five pounds to your bench, adding 10 pounds to your deadlift. Progressive overload. Over a certain amount of time. Right. So make sure you got your strength and make sure you gain a substantial amount of muscle. Before you even think about cutting, then we can talk about it. So let's talk about it, mama. So we're gonna go over things to avoid when cutting so that way you don't lose your muscle that you just gained over your bulk, which is one, cutting too fast. You don't wanna go on a 500 cal deficit. You wanna maybe do 200 at a time, slowly, slowly decreasing your fat. You wanna lose about one, one to two pounds weekly. That's like the, your rough estimate right there. All right, another thing you guys wanna focus on on a cut is strength training. Because, because you want to send signals to your muscles to grow muscle. If you're sending signals to, to throw it away, as in hypertrophy, as in doing over 20 reps, you're gonna <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> you're gonna lose a lot more muscle mass. So stick to your strength training and um, kind of throw your hypertrophy and everything you learn, everything else. People don't know shit. <laughs> Number three is try to keep cardio towards the end of your cut. You don't want to be doing cardio too much because what I said. It sends signals to your body to throw away your muscle. Muscle's hard to carry around. It'll throw that away first. So if you're doing a bunch of cardio, you're running a lot, it's gonna throw away your muscle. I'm sorry to say it. So how you wanna go about it is by a calorie deficit, not by cardio. Right, so a lot of people have this misconception that, oh, do I need to do cardio to, to make sure that my cut is successful? Don't focus on the cardio, focus on the diet. The diet is what's gonna give you the cut, not the cardio. The cardio is just like a little added effect to mm -hmm. it. A little sprinkle on top. If you need it, throw in the cardio. Right, but. The cut is gonna come from the diet. So throw throw all that away about cardio. One, get your adequate protein intake. So if you're 190 pounds, get 190 grams of protein. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 165 pounds, you, you should be consuming about 165 to 180 grams of protein. Now what will this do? Now, when you have a high enough protein intake, you're able to preserve the muscle mass you already have on your body while cutting the fat out. You wanna make sure you're in a caloric deficit while keeping the protein intake high. That way you can cut the fat and keep the muscle. It satiates you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Favorite word, right? <laughs> so getting that of your protein, what does this do? It helps you remain fuller and it helps you preserve muscle mass. Your water intake should be substantially high. You should, about, you should be drinking about a gallon a day. It doesn't matter, drink a gallon at least minimum. The water is gonna run through your body and it's gonna keep you satiated, meaning it's gonna keep you fuller longer, meaning you're not gonna eat because the water is gonna fill up your stomach and you're gonna be fuller longer. So drink your water. Don't cut out your carbs, don't cut out your fats. You wanna have a balanced diet because if you cut out those kind of things, the moment you hop off your diet and you reintroduce those items you, you, you gave out, you'll take it right back in, you'll get fatter. So no keto, none of that, no fats, just balanced diet, stick to that. So let me, let me talk about something about called clean eating. Clean eating is a lot more cyclical than sustainable. So a lot of people that clean eat are mostly bodybuilders that are prepping for a show because they need to, to get to a certain weight in a certain time. A lot, of norm, a lot of normies, they have to be in a diet that's sustainable in the long term. So in the long term, people aren't gonna be carrying around a food scale, weighing out their food, things like that. So you don't have to be so harsh on your diet. Just make sure that your protein intake is high and you're at a calorie deficit. I agree. But depending on what you're eating, like if you're getting fast food, McDonald's, all that stuff, you're kind of just wasting your calories on that thing. You're not going to be able to eat a lot. But if you're choosing uh, nutrient dense food, is that the word for it? Nutriently uh, rich. Nutriently rich. So you have a lot nutrition of nutrition. It's nutri low calorie and it provides you with a bunch of nutrition. You have green beans, you have jasmine rice, you have chicken. You're going to be able to eat a lot more and keep you feeling fuller longer than getting that fucking cheeseburger that's fucking a thousand calories. And now you can't eat anything with the rest of the day. High volume foods. Now we're gonna talk about misconceptions about certain diets, keto diet, low carb diet, things like that. You're able to try different diets you got to understand that everybody is biologically different. So if he does a keto diet, it might not work for me because we're, we're biologically different. Another thing about trying different diets, 
especially in a short amount of time is a lot of people get sick you don't want to go too extreme especially if you're not um allergic to certain foods because that's why people some people do keto diet or some people do low carb diet because they're they're allergic to some type of foods that way they're not they, they can't just do a regular um, calorie deficit but the thing with certain diets like keto i'm gonna go over keto is that what you yeah, go ahead you go with keto yeah you drain yourself of all these carbs you lose weight like crazy but what does that do you lose muscle mass what does that do your performance in the gym is horrible. Another thing, you're more stressed. You're more tendon, you're more, you have more tendencies to lash on everybody because you're, you're malnourished. And then after that, you bring back all those um, carbs into your diet. Now what? Now you have less muscle mass than you started with and now you gain more fat. So now you have more fat percentage on your body. And now you're back to square one of being fat. And even worse. So don't be fat. Just follow these tips. It's very simple. Recap, make it very short and sweet for y'all. Calorie deficit. Balanced diet. Adequate protein intake. Adequate water intake. Eat clean. Eat clean. And go to, and hit the gym hard. Go to the fucking gym! Yeah. Strength train, by the way, just strength train, strength train, strength train, strength train. Cardio's not that important. I don't know if we got it across with you, but I hope we did. Um, you guys have any more questions about certain diets or what mm -hmm. works, what we do specifically, let us know. DM us. Follow us on Instagram, we're a lot more active. Instagram, DM us, we'll reply. We're not like those fucking influencers that <laughs> won't reply, reply to nobody. <laughs> so, no, we love the support. Like, keep commenting, we read them, we reply. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let us know what you guys wanna see. I know we haven't been doing a lot of workout videos, so if you guys wanna see some workout videos, you guys enjoyed them. It seems like you guys did, so if you guys wanna see them, let, let us know. know. And Until then, we'll see y'all later. No, you